there's no crueler villain than the hands of fate itself. <laughs> Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Final Destination deaths. For this list, we've excluded the premonition death scenes, and we've selected each stomach-churning goodbye based on a combination of its gore and the strength of the chills, thrills, humor, and irony it gives us, as well as its overall execution. Pun intended. Also, obviously, spoiler alert. Dude, relax. Get your hands off me. You all lost your fucking mind. Number 10, Evan Lewis, Final Destination 2. Ah, the kitchen, where anything can kill you. Exploding microwave, hand-hungry garbage disposal, cooking fire accident, all of the possibilities are teased. In a clever moment, death's invisible forces clue you in by dropping the H magnet of the Hey E from the fridge to spell I. Tossing that spaghetti out the window was a slip-up, Evan, and death doesn't take kindly to litter bugs. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Number 9, Olivia Castle, Final Destination 5. Who's that? Relax. You know, it looks a lot worse than it really is. Okay, I'm gently going to position your head Surgery is always scary, but throw in lasers and restricted head movement, and the fright factor is multiplied tenfold. I can't move my head. Perfect. Having your eye in a vice can be disconcerting, so the scene plays with this uncomfortable knowledge through its dark lighting and slow pace. Do you know what? My assistant's giving me an incomplete file. I'll be right back. Hold on, you're leaving? In a twist, it's not the botched surgery that kills her, but the very eye prongs that sent us squirming in the beginning. Help me! <laughs> Number eight, Nora Carpenter, Final Destination 2. A box of hooked prosthetic limbs is rendered as creepy as possible when a man with a hair-sniffing fetish gets one caught in Nora's ponytail. A man with hooks is gonna kill you. What, what? What is it, Nora? While most deaths in the franchise happen to generally unlikable characters, we don't really want wholesome, good-natured Nora to die, and her last words while her head is stuck between two floors exploit that in full measure. Number 7, Candace Hooper, Final Destination 5. Come on, Candace, you're up. This scene takes advantage of an excellent principle in suspense. It's not what happens, it's what doesn't. That's good. For over three minutes, the audience's own imagination actively participates in wondering what form death will take when it comes for Candace. Come on, Candace. You got this. In a brilliant bit of foreshadowing, notice that the chills she gets when she powders up are well warranted because it's the powder that does her in. Number six, Billy Hitchcock, Final Destination. You're next, Carter! I'm staying the f away from you! Shut up, Billy! When Billy's fear and paranoia get a little too intense, Death wastes no time in using a piece of shrapnel to chop his head off with the grace and precision of a Ginsu blade. What are you doing? Get away from me, he's next! Hey, f Billy, I'm not dead! Oh, you will be! You're dead! You're dead! And you're taking me with you! 
What makes this simple kill-off special is the fact that a few lives were saved mere moments before it. Get out! <laughs> So, our collective relief for the characters dies just as suddenly. Death is just a douchebag that toys with everyone. Number 5. Ashley Frund and Ashlyn Halperin, Final Destination 3. <sighs> it's way too warm in here now, huh? The best part of Final Destination's deaths is often the Rube Goldberg factor i.e. the twisted machinations of how accidents happen based on one simple misstep. The tanning beds could have easily locked by jamming, but only death would come up with something as convoluted as the machine overheating because of an errant slushy, then a small breeze from the exhaust causing a coat rack to tumble, knocking down a bookshelf that ultimately traps the girls. Number 4. Ian McKinley, Final Destination 3. You didn't even believe me! Yeah, well, seeing is believing. This one's simply extraordinary because it's spiced up with character and plot point reveals and is during a dramatic showdown of confrontational dialogue. Just tell me how to start it off! Let's get this over with! As if that's not enough of an adrenaline rush, it's all set over the backdrop of an exploding fireworks fest waiting to flare into a finale. What do I care? It skipped me. For me, it is over. I'm not dying. I'm not dying! We don't even know if Ian will die or not, because his very presence is based on a plot twist. Of course, if he's on this list, then... You see? I'm not gonna die! It's you, Wendy! You're dead! Number 3. Hunt Winorski, The Final Destination. This is Hunt. You know what to do. Hunt, listen to me, buddy. Listen. No water, okay? Stay away from water. Swimming pool drains are one of those simple devices that look harmless. They aren't sharp, electric, or inherently dangerous in nature, but they induce fear over the what-if factor alone. Like, what if your butt got stuck in one, leaving you to wonder if you'll die by drowning or disembowelment? In Hunt's case, though, it's pretty much a coin toss. Number 2. Aaron Ulmer, Final Destination 3. Oh my god, guys, what's going on? What's going on? That's crazy! That's crazy! Here we have a spectacular combination of all the factors that make for a good death scene. Death is f***ing complicated. With half a dozen characters, who will the victim be? There are over four minutes of suspense and witty dialogue discussing the film's logic and character skepticisms, while a series of dangerous accidents waiting to happen builds around them all. <laughs> but there's a safety hazard in there that really hits the nail on the head. There! Those! Before we deliver us from evil with our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. I've got my eye on you two. Number 1. Tim Carpenter, 
Final Destination 2. The red herring is Tim's trip to the dentist, where pigeons of death torture him by repeatedly flying into the window. A fish tank leaks water into an electrical outlet that threatens the oxygen and nitrous oxide canisters. When a plastic fish falls into Tim's open mouth to choke him while he's getting gassed through his nose, you don't expect him to get out of the office alive. But he does. Almost. Do you agree with our list? <laughs> Which Final Destination deaths made you squeal, scream, and squirm? For more To Die For Top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. I told you you were next. Just get me. So who's next? <laughs> <laughs>